Please welcome the President of the 77th Session of the United Nations General Assembly, His Excellency, Mr. Chaba Koroshi. Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, dear friends, the SDG moment was created to be a yearly wake up call. On long In diplomatic language, a call and a reminder for all of us to remember what we need to do, and especially what we need to do to transform the vision of Agenda 2030 and the SDGs into a reality. We're in, or in simple terms, it is high time for us to seriously consider the state of the world taking into account all of the consequences, whether we like them or not. It is timely and more necessary than ever to rededicate ourselves to the SDGs. Let me tell you why. First, because our transformative vision remains true and sound. And the when we can bring together all stakeholders across the world to agree on a comprehensive framework of work in solidarity for change. We also managed to bring the global south and north together for a historic agreement embraced by consensus. Ever since, scientific evidence has proven that we were right with our diagnosis and with therapy offered. Yet by most markers, we are failing our goals. I accept that we had COVID-19 sweeping over the world the pandemic was a postcard from a future, a bleak future of interlocking global crises, one that we want to avoid and that we can avoid. We must now regain the speed lost to the pandemic and to our inaction. Solutions are at hand. On our timetable for and schedule for sustainable development, for the forthcoming year, there are important events planned, important conferences on climate change, biodiversity, on water, and on uh, the reduction of the risk of natural disasters. Key transitions need to happen. Just to name a few, a transition to renewable, carbon-free energy base and to green, inclusive, and circular economies where food systems must also be transformed. We should also renew our multilateral commitment to establishing a science support mechanism. It can assist member states in their effort by means of providing transparent scientific indicators and validation for sustainable development. Likewise, we must make progress on understanding the value of GDP and capitalize on the political momentum to go beyond it. We cannot neglect the critical issue of financing in our discussions. That is why the high-level meeting on financing for development will take place at the same time 
as the SDG Summit. Last but not least, we must look at the linkage between climate change and water holistically. Part of the solution we need to scale up is the action plan of the water and climate leaders. It is my hope that the UN 2023 Water Conference and the preparatory meeting I will hold on October 25th will spur major advances, advance, advances to, uh, towards the implementation of SDG 6. Excellencies, we need initiatives from the civil society. The voice and passion of the youth the support of the private sector, but most importantly, you, the member states, to deliver on promises made. The 17 global goals are the to-do list. They must be the to-do list of all leaders in this room. We are the people who can get this, the to-do list of the world done. Thank you.